it's almost the end of the month. And it's around this time when we hear the usual complaint of hard-working employees all over the country. Hindi kasha, hindi mag-aabot, dadaan lang sa palad. I've experienced that many times. Lalo na pag-enrollment o kaya may na-hospital. Or there are times when prices of goods in the market suddenly increase without warning. Then my budget is out of whack. Expenses keep piling up while income is not increasing fast enough. I'm sure you've experienced that. And just like me, you've done all you can to adjust. You don't go out as much as before. You've cut down on expenses. You haven't even bought anything for yourself for more than a year now. You know, money is really tight. And yet, somehow, you cannot keep yourself from splurging on a little luxury every once in a while. You, you just have to have your cup of macchiato in the morning. Uh, you, you have to buy that shirt or that dress that was on sale in the mall last week. You have to reward yourself with a nice, buffet dinner for working hard this month. But, you know, the end of the month comes along and you still keep running out of money. If you're going through all of these, I tell you, don't panic. You'll survive. You'll find a way to make ends meet. But you need to make some adjustments. And that adjustment is in your state of mind. Listen to this encouraging word from the book of Hebrews. Keep your life free from the love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. The writer of Hebrews advises us not to be greedy. We should not give in to the desire to have more than we need. We must be content. This means we put up a barrier for ourselves to ward off the excessive desires to have more and more of the things we don't really need. It means being satisfied with what you have. Of course, you have the choice to earn some extra income, and that is good. But be aware of natural limits. There are only 24 hours per day, eight hours of which you need to spend sleeping. Your mental and physical energy at, at their height while you're young, but be conscious that they will diminish over time. The most fundamental thing for you to learn is to be content. Live within your means. Everything else will follow after that. God will be with you to help you deal with your financial problems. So remember, in making sure your paycheck is enough to cover your needs, as you become more content with what you have. Faith matters too.